Welcome to UMW Libraries. Today we're going to talk about locating full text, that is the full article, in APA PsycInfo. Here we've done our search and one of the great things about PsycInfo is it includes records, which is information about articles. Some of those records have the full text, the whole article, and others just have the article information. This is important because we want to know everything that's been published on our topic, whether or not this database, PsycInfo, has the whole article. So as we scroll through our results here, you guys will see that some articles, like number one, have the full text PDF attached. If we click this and open it in a new tab, we will see in just a moment the whole article is here available for us. We can print it, we can download it, we can email it to a friend. This is great, we have the whole article. But not every case is going to work that way. So let's scroll down a little bit further in our list. Okay, in this case we are seeing check for full text. What check for full text means is that the whole article is not available in this database. Now that doesn't mean that UMW does not have access to this article anywhere. So what we can do is click on this link. This will check everything else that UMW subscribes to and it will let us know where it's available. Now sometimes it will send us to a journal's home page. And in this case, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that it shows us all of the volumes and issues, but it doesn't take us directly to the article. That's okay, we have all the information about the article back here. We're looking for volume 25, issue one from 2017, and the article title starts with dissatisfaction. So if we go back to that page, we can find volume 25, number one from 2017, and here's our article. If we click English, this will open up the PDF, and here we have the full article. If we go back to our list, let's look through a couple more options. Here's another example where the whole article is in PsycInfo. Let's check out number four and see if we get the same results as last time. So it's not available in PsycInfo, but we want to check for the full text. What it's telling us this time is there is no full text available. That means that none of UMW Library's databases have the whole article anywhere. But we have another option, interlibrary loan. Interlibrary loan means we can ask other libraries around the country if they have access to this article. They'll scan it, they'll send it to us, and we'll send it to you. Interlibrary loan, or ILL, is absolutely free. All you have to do is set up your own account. I'm gonna click this link and it's going to take me to my ILL account. I'm going to log in and it helps me fill out this form. We just have to double check that no information is missing. Every so often it forgets the title of the journal. Scroll down to the bottom and submit our request. This means UMW Libraries will ask other libraries around the country for this article. They will send it to us and we will let you know at your UMW email address that this article is available for you to log in and download. Now, if you don't already have an interlibrary loan account, you can come to the UMW Libraries homepage, click here on Use Interlibrary Loan, and create your own account. Interlibrary Loan is an amazing service and it is absolutely free to you. So if you are searching in PsycInfo and you don't find what you want, click to check for full text. We may have it in another database. Even if we don't, we can get it for you for free from other libraries through ILL. If you have questions about searching for full text, downloading articles, or using interlibrary loan, let us know. Thank you. Have a great day.